Once upon a time, the oceans of our planet were beautifully clean. Not anymore. Captain Charles Moore calls this the age of plastic. Between 250 and 300 million tons of plastic are produced every year. To get that into terms you can understand, every two years we make enough plastic to be the equivalent of the weight of the 7 billion people on Earth. In his new book, Plastic Ocean, Moore says less than 5% of all plastic is recycled and nearly 3% of world production is dumped into the ocean. That debris kills millions of sea creatures every year. And we know uh, over 100,000 albatross chicks are dying every year with stomachs full of plastic. We've uh, had some evidence that about 100,000 marine mammals are dying every year uh, being tangled in plastic. Moore has spent his life on the ocean and witnessed its transformation. In his book, he tells about his 1997 voyage, discovering tons of plastic floating in an endless spiral. In what is now known as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, plastic outweighs the plankton by a factor of 6 to 1. Moore created the Algalita Marine Research Foundation and began to collect samples from the world's oceans. Styrofoam. He says plastic waste flows into oceans from rivers, beaches and ships. Not only all the navies of the world, but all the merchant vessels of the world, until the 1980s, were routinely dumping all their garbage at sea. Moore says today ships of all flags and functions continue to ignore international agreements dumping their trash into the ocean. Synthetic chemicals, pesticides, nuclear waste, nerve and mustard agents. He says he is upset by the destruction of his own habitat. Whether I'm surfing, whether I'm sailing, whether I'm swimming, I'm touching, seeing, running into persistent waste that will be there longer than any of our children, any of our grandchildren. It will be there for centuries and it doesn't go away. We're adding to it. The pollution expert carries with him a bag of sand collected from a beach in Hawaii. He had it analyzed. It is more than 90 percent plastic. Captain Moore has worked with environmental filmmaker Bill McDonald to document the plastic takeover of the oceans. McDonald provided most of the video in this story, including this octopus living in a plastic shower head. There's not a lot of beauty in a river full of trash. This is obvious. And the things that I see, herons that are frightened by styrofoam that blows around them. I see seagulls that try to eat rubber gloves. I see all sorts of animals forging around in what used to be be natural debris is now contaminated with synthetics. And so the campaign continues. In Plastic Ocean, Captain Charles Moore calls plastic pollution more damaging than climate change and issues a call to protect the oceans where life began for future generations. This is Sulima Palacio, VOA News.